Hey everyone, it's Nighthawk here. Just wanted to show off my latest findings for today, and I had a really good day, really enjoyed it. Uh, first of all, today in the post, I had. Oh, let's sit down because the shadow's in the way. I had Star Wars Jedi Power Battles come in the post, and. I th can't remember how much I paid for it, but. I think it was about 99p, it wasn't much at all, it was really cheap and unfortunately I don't think this one came with the instructions if I can get it open <laughs> no there's no instructions in there, I know there aren't anyway um, which is unfortunate and these ones I was looking forward to which I bought on eBay, I bought these two together um, oh, I really can't remember how much I paid these now should have done my research before uh, shooting this video, but um, yeah, I got these two really cheap. Actually, was, they were they were cheap. Uh, they were no more than five pound, <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's complete, which is cool. And this one is complete. So yeah, I look forward to playing these two. Looks pretty cool from the pictures on that one. And on that one, the bounty hunter. Looks pretty cool. And then <clears throat> I went to a shop really local to me and it's been open for, open for a while. But I hadn't ever been in there. I think it was called Trade Station. Uh, and I bought a couple of games, four I think, it was, uh, a pound for Zone of the Enders, which I've read is a classic, I've never played this, these games, uh, so, look forward to trying them out. And though yeah, a pound you can't go wrong and I think Yeah, that one is complete and what's that? What's this? Oh, oh it actually comes with the Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, that's cool. Comes with the actual uh it says playable demo of Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, that's pretty cool. But it's actually got the demo in there. So that's fully complete for a pound. Bargain. Um, receipt. I don't want to see that. And I didn't plan on picking up Star Star Trek games, but I saw this in there. I thought, why not? It was two pound. Two pound. Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. It's called. Oh, sorry, the glare on. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not? Um, that was. Complete, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, cool. Um, and then Maximo for two pound. I think it was. Yep, two pound. I heard good things about this one as well. Apparently, these this series is quite good. So. And that one is. Complete. Yep. Complete there. <clears throat> and then the last game I picked up was the original Grand Theft Auto for two pound. And I absolutely I loved the Bird's Eye View GTA games. I personally I think the good GTA one and two, and also the London London one are the best ones. Um, you know the the other ones are good. I like the I like the new gen, new gen ones, but um, yeah, Grand Theft Auto the original was pr the best one I think. Really good fun, and that one didn't have the manual in unfortunately, so no map either. So I would have liked the map because um, recently my friend picked this up as well. This one and Dragon. 
who also does pickups on my channel, and he didn't get he didn't get the manual either. And when I had a go on it on the, on this game, it was trying to find out where to go. It was quite hard because I kept on going in the wrong directions. But yeah, as I said, you know, two pound not bad. I would have preferred it if I had the map, but I might be able to pick that up online. Um, and they did me a deal because I was after a, a PS2 controller as well. So after buying those four games, um, I went to the counter and they had some PS2 controllers hung up behind. And I said, how much are they? And they were £4. So I, I, I thought, oh, why not? I'll get one of those as well. And they said, well, you bought those four games for a tenner, so I'll just chuck in the controller for free. Which I thought was uh, pretty awesome, you know. Oh, let's focus a bit. Yeah, and it's, it's in good condition. I mean, the last controller I had all scuffs on the bottom. It was really badly, and it also made noises when I shook it, and this one doesn't. So, yeah, I'm really happy. You know, they chucked out for free, so great bargain there. Um, and then. I went to, I found this little shop, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of it now, oh, I can't remember now the name of it, but um, there was this little shop locally as well, which from the outside you wouldn't know they'd sold games in there, and we went in there, or me and Dragon went in there, and it was brilliant, I loved it in there, it, they had uh, old consoles, they had limited edition consoles, they had Mega Drive, NES games, NES games, they had, I said, they had lots of consoles, they had, like, different colour consoles, it was brilliant, and I'm definitely going to go there again, and the prices were pretty good as well. Um, I think they were, they were asking, because oh, I wanted a NES console, I do want a NES console, and they, they, were, they were, I think, £40 for the regular NES, and they actually had, I, I, I didn't know this, they had a Mattel version NES, which apparently was before it went all mainstream, and, um, you know, they started bringing them out, really, like, mass producing them a lot, um, and that was, that one was only, I think, 70 odd pounds, and I've seen normal NESs go online for more than 100, so I really do want one, but... My main focus at the moment is PS2 and Game GameCube games, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm definitely gonna get there again. Cause, and they were really friendly in there, which was a bonus, you know. And they were offering three. They offered you get three PlayStation 2 games for a fiver, three for three for five pound, which is a good deal, I think. And I got Star Wars Battlefront 2, which I know is a classic. I've not actually played this. But I know it's uh, a classic game, and it's, de it's another one for my Star Wars collection. Um, and if I think, no, unfortunately, that's not complete. Again, I would have liked a manual, but you know, pretty good. So, the next one I got was Star Trek Encounters. Again, I had no plan on getting Star Trek games. I don't know how good they are. But I picked this up. So why not? You know. Looks pretty cool. On the Enterprise on the back. Um, and then <clears throat> the third one. Metro Slide 3. As you've seen my videos, I picked up the second one not long ago. Well, yesterday in fact. <laughs> it's actually my third day of getting games, which uh, is a new record for me. So, yeah, this one looks to be good. And that is complete. That's complete. And what was this? Oh, this is, I think this was just um, advertising the strategy guide for it but I'm not really one for buying strategy guides 
Uh, I have bought strategy guides in the past and I hardly, hardly used them so I don't bother now really. Um, so yeah, I, I've had a really good day out with those. And I do actually plan on playing some of the games soon. <laughs> I haven't had a chance really. But hey everyone, sorry about that, my uh, video just stopped. Uh, when I was recording because I I ran out of battery in space so <laughs> I had to clear some videos on my phone because I, I, the only way I've got a video in or is my um, iPhone at the moment I ain't got no real good equipment but anyway as, as I was saying um, yeah I, I haven't had a chance to play any games yet really but I do plan on playing some tonight uh, unsure what I'm going to start with because <laughs> I've got quite a few to play now after three days in a row going out buying. Um, but I just want to say thanks for the viewers who viewed my other videos. And I hope to bring you more videos in the future of uh, my latest pickups. And I'm sure Dragon is going to do his pickups soon because he came out with me today and he picked up a few. Picked up a few. So, I hope you uh, join us next time on our adventures. Thanks. Bye.